Welcome to this training on Unlock MLS Forms. In this video, we will cover the Buyer-Tenant Representation Agreement. Limited Services A couple of notes. First, always check with your broker with any questions about using these forms. Second, the use of this form is only for Unlock MLS subscribers. Now let's discuss why this form is important. Under the rules of Unlock MLS, agents are now required to get a written agreement, such as this, signed before showing properties. You do not have to use this specific form and should check with your broker about guidance on which forms are best under your firm's policies. Let's explore this form step by step. The first section of the form is parties. Write down the client and broker names and addresses. Include phone numbers and email addresses. The second section of the form is property. Write down the name of the property or properties that you plan to show that day. It is advised that you have a full buyer's representation agreement signed as you build rapport with the client and your buyer becomes more serious about purchasing or renting a property. The third section is term and appointment. You choose the one single day that makes up the term of the agreement. For that day, you are their agent. This is part of the limited aspect of the limited services. The fourth section is broker's compensation. First, note the form states broker commissions are not set by law and are fully negotiable. Compensations are also not fixed, controlled, or recommended by Unlock MLS. In this form, you will include the fee that the client will pay for the showing. This is a fee for the day. The fifth section is broker services and obligations. This section indicates the limited services that you are going to provide. The form notes that you will be providing access to the property so that the client can view it to see if they are interested in buying or leasing the property. This means that this form only includes the service of showings. If they want to purchase the property, you will need to use the short form or the long form to represent them. Remember that the long form gives the most protection. The sixth section is competing clients. The broker can represent other clients who might be interested in properties that are also of interest to the client signing this agreement. Without this clause, a broker or agent would not be able to perform their fiduciary duties to all of their clients. The seventh section is no representations. This section notes that you are not making representations about the property and you recommend an inspection by a professional. The eighth section is IABS. It shares that you have given the information about brokerage services form to the client. The ninth section is disputes. Review how disputes will be resolved. The path is negotiation to mediation to litigation. The tenth section is fair housing. We note that all services are provided equally to all. Note that the form needs the broker's printed name and the broker associate signature. Let's cover a few additional points as we finalize our use of this form. First, this form has multiple very specific uses. Talk with your broker to make sure you understand when best to utilize this form. Second, recognize how this form helps you stay in compliance with buyer representation regulations while opening the door to moving to the short form or long form as you continue the relationship. For more information on this form, or if you have any questions, please contact us at support at abor.com.